Happy Tuesday. Today's December 13th, 2011. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Ryan Knows Tech with our tech blog, which you're looking at, techinform.us. As you can see, Colt and I have spent the last couple hours working on some things here with some graphics. We got our background fixed, updated to WordPress 3.3, and so forth. Anyways, moving on to today's video, it's actually a request talking about how to make our font in Photoshop. Never had this request before, just got it today, and I thought I'd take care of it uh, real quickly. So this is our logo designed in Photoshop by Bobby Nichols several months ago. We've made some minor um, changes and tweaks to it, but if you have Photoshop, Mac, PC, doesn't matter, CS3 or later, it shouldn't even really matter what version of Photoshop. You can easily replicate this, maybe make a YouTube channel background or something if you want to use our font and colors. That's fine with us. Uh, we would prefer that you put our logo on it somewhere, but you can recreate this yourself relatively easily. The T, the I, and the underline here all have the same properties. That means they have the same basic background color, the same effects added to them. Uh, obviously, they're different shapes and sizes. The font in everything that you see is Century Gothic. That should be installed on Windows and Mac and maybe even cheap OSs like Linux. By cheap, I mean awful. <laughs> but uh, Century Gothic is the font. The background color of the actual font for the T, the I, and the underline, this is before you put effects, is this number here. You need to copy this number from what you hear me say, 3399CC, as in cat cat, 39 or 3399CC. Um, that's the exact color of the lettering. The uh, lettering for the ECHNFORM, we'll get to that in a little bit. We're going to do the other three first. Uh, so you can see I'll turn the effects off, and that's what you should have, Century Gothic. Uh, size is of course going to matter to what you're doing. Ours happens to be 115.01. Uh, but getting into the effects that we have on there, just double click the layer of course to bring up those effects. We'll start with the drop shadow. We're using um, the color for the drop shadow. Most likely you're going to want black depending on the kind of document that you're working with. On our site, the drop shadow color is 99CCFF if you're trying to replicate that exactly. It has an opacity of 41%. The distance value is 1, spread is 0, and size is 0. The angle is 120, 120 degrees using global light. Coming down to the second effect we used, it's an inner shadow. We did the blend mode for multiply. The color is just black, 6 zeros is the hex value. 52% opacity, distance 6, choke 0, size 9 using global light at 120 degrees. So you may need to put this video in 1080p if you want to come in and look at the layer style windows just as I have them open. And then the last effect for this is the gradient overlay. We're using a blend mode of normal, 45% opacity. It's at 90 degrees, our scale is 100%. If we look at the colors, it is actually going from 0E, 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 that's the dark color, all the way over to 98, 98, 98. That gradient is being overlaid on top of that text at 45%. As you can see, if we bring that up to 100%, it just makes it dark. Uh, but we have that blue underneath it. So at 41%, it looks like it does on our site. Mm -hmm. Again, that's going to work with the T, the I, and the underline. All of those uh, properties should uh, be communal between those uh, three different layers here. If we move on to the ek inform text, double click on this. Mm -hmm. And um, this is not actually a vector or a text layer. It's just a raster layer right now, meaning it's not, if you know anything about graphics, you understand. If you don't, it doesn't matter. Uh, but we have a gradient overlay on this of 45%. I think the background color is just black. Uh, if we turn off the gradient, I come over here, we get an eyedropper tool, and we see that the background base color text is 60, 60, 60. That's 60, 60, 60. So that's going to be your background base font color, uh, again, in Century Gothic for E-C-H-N-F-O-R-M. If we go back in there, we turn our gradient overlay back on. We'll start down here this time. Your gradient overlay blend mode is normal, opacity 45%. The colors we're using here are... Uh, again, 0E, 0E, 0E to what would be 98, 98, 98. So it's going to be the same color overlay, just this time at 45% um, for the other letters. There's also an inner shadow, blend mode multiply, 52% opacity, distance 6, choke 0, size 9. Most of these probably seem pretty familiar. We're still using global light at 120 degrees. 
Drop shadow, uh, blend mode is normal. The color for this one is just six Fs, that's white. 41% opacity, uh, distance is one, and then the size and the spread is zero. I don't even know if that's actually doing anything, but that's what it looks like. Uh, so that should be all of the information that you need. I apologize, I went through that pretty quickly. You may need to go back if you're trying to replicate this and um, put the video in 1080p. Give it a minute to load. You'll be able to see um, in much higher resolution what it looks like on my side, and you should be able to replicate an exact copy of what we have here. I would put this document online somewhere for you to go and download and, and have all of these values. Uh, however, that means I need to come up with a service that I can have public enough for anybody and everybody to come in and download stuff. I've done this before with Mediafire. Their stuff's only good for a few months, so then somebody comes back. Uh, it's just going to be easier if you make this yourself. It may take five minutes, and you may have to watch parts of the video twice, but it's not that difficult at all if you have basic skills in Photoshop. So thanks for watching. I do hope this answered uh, the request of the user who requested it. We're going to be putting some uh, content up on the site as I just navigate away from it. But uh, as you can see, we're all decked out for our Christmas theme. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Subscribe if you like what you saw. My Twitter is twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow in Wednesday's video. Bye-bye.